Greetings brothers and sisters. Now in this video we are going to look at five biblical errors that brother Ronald from Truth Unedited is making. This is the first biblical error that America is mystery Babylon spoken of in the Bible. The Bible tells us that mystery Babylon Revelation chapter 17 verse 18. This is what it says. The woman that you saw is the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. Mystery Babylon is the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. So America obviously does not rule over the kings of the earth. To say that Mystery Babylon is America, it's a misinterpretation of scripture because America does not rule over the kings of the earth. In verse 6 of the same Revelation chapter 17, this is what it says. It says, And then I saw the woman. The woman was drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the witnesses of Yeshua. There are nations that in fact have killed more Christians that are still doing so to this day. If you look at what is happening in the Middle East, if you look at what is happening in North Africa, we hear our brothers and sisters being killed because of their faith. In areas that are dominated by the Islamic faith, you know, in North Africa, in the Middle East. That's where the blood of the saints are being shed as I speak to you right now, day by day. So America has never been at any point been drunk with the blood of the saints. So we cannot therefore say that America is mystery Babylon. The third verse, the Bible says, verse 3, it says, when the angels carried me away in the spirit, he carried me to a desert. John is saying he was carried into a desert. And when you read the Old Testament, you begin to discover that this desert is not just any other desert. Actually, the Bible says it's a desert by the sea or a desert by the great sea. And when we read and when we follow what the great sea is, it is the seas that are around the Middle East. It's not Western seas or Russian seas, but the seas that are around the Middle East. When he says he was carried to the desert, and this desert is a desert by the sea. It is therefore impossible for us to say America is mystery Babylon. That is the first biblical error that I believe Brother Ronald from Truth and Edited Ministry. Brother, I was not going to do this video if you had responded to my emails and to my comments on your comment section since last year i've been trying to get hold of you, but you do not respond to my emails so i've been waiting since last year brother because you said that we must give you time to respond so i gave you time to respond so i'm doing this video because there are people that i directed to your channel now the second point which i think this is unfortunate you said that we cannot understand God without the Old Testament. I don't think that is a biblically fair statement to Atabagada because what do you mean we cannot understand God without the Old Testament? What do you mean? You cannot say that when I have encountered Christ, it's not sufficient enough for me to understand God. Do you hear what you say? You can't say that. You can't say that I cannot understand God, if I have not read the Old Testament, whereas in the New Testament, my brother, we encounter Christ. Christ is the center of our message and everything that we say must be centered around Christ. If we try to take people out of Christ to anywhere else, my brother, we are committing a grievous, grievous mistake. And the third biblical error that I'm actually very surprised that you are committing, my brother, is uh, the issue of women. In your video, you said women are less than men. You literally said women are less than men. Brother, that is not the Bible. That is not Jesus. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 when the Bible says, And God made him a helper. It does not mean that he made a woman less, my brother. And the Lord God said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him a helper suitable to him. This 
verse does not say at all, at all, that women are less than men. In fact, if anything, it actually says that they are equal. When the Bible says a suitable helper, let's start by first describing the word helper. The word helper in Genesis chapter 2, it's to rescue or to save. It's the same word that we attribute sometimes to God when he says, God is my help. God is my rescuer. And this rescuer, brother, you know that this rescuer is not only and is not your assistant. The word helper in Genesis chapter 2 is not the word uh, maid. It's not even the word servant. You know, if God wanted to make women our servants, he would have used another word for You know the word for servant, doulos. But here they said eze. Eze means a warrior who rescues. And then the word kinecto, it means opposite as to him or corresponding as to him. When we say as a kinecto, we say a warrior or a rescuer who is opposite to him. If I'm saying I have a as a kinecto, like me, I have a wife, I have an as a kinecto, I have a helper who is parallel to me. A sister who's not married is not a helper to anyone. A brother who is not married doesn't have a helper. So this brother who is not married must not expect to find an Ezekinegdo from any other woman in the street because it's tied to marriage. Genesis chapter 2 is actually addressing the marriage institute, brother. So we need to understand that that Ezekinegdo there, it's in the marriage institute. And Ezekinegdo is a savior or a rescuer who is parallel or who is opposite me, who is the same level as me. The fourth biblical error that I believe you are committing, my brother, is to uphold the law. I have listened over and over and over again to your messages. When you speak, you equate the law with the word of Christ. You equate the Old Testament. And here's another problem. I listened to your Law versus Grace video, my brother. As a Bible student, you have a responsibility. When you say the law, you, you have the responsibility to say there is what we call the law of God, which are the Ten Commandments that you were talking about, and the other laws. So generally, you know, Brother Ron, generally, when people say we are not under the law, they, they don't mean to say we are not under the Ten Commandments. It would be absurd for a Christian to say, I'm not under the Ten Commandments. But we generally mean that we are not under the dietary laws of the Jews, of which, unfortunately, I heard you say, you keep, you know. So you uphold the law as equally as to the New Testament, which I don't think that is biblically fair to do. This is what 2 Corinthians chapter 3 says, Their minds were made dull, until this day, the same veil remains when the old covenant is read. It has not been removed because only in Christ is it taken away. Verse 16 says, whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. So you see, there is a veil of the old covenant, brother. The question is, can a person know God with just the New Testament? The answer is an emphatic yes. You can know God just by reading the New Testament. And this is not me saying that the Old Testament is irrelevant. I'm a Bible scholar, brother. I know the importance of the Old Testament. The Old Testament must be read. But to say that the Old Testament is equated to the New Covenant, that is not a biblically fair statement to say. The fifth biblical error, you said that the first seal has already been opened, brother. You can't say that. You can't say that the first seal has already been, the white horse has already been caught out to come. If there is no evidence of it, we know that the white horse is in Revelation 6. We know that it's the same thing that Christ in Matthew chapter 24 was talking about when he said, many false prophets will arise and lead many astray, my brother. How do we know that? When you read Matthew chapter 24, you parallel it with Revelation chapter 6, you begin to realize that these are the same events. So the first one Christ said is deception in Matthew 24. In Revelation, John saw a white horse. 
and the second one was a red horse in Revelation chapter 6. And they said that this rider will take peace from the earth. And then Christ in Matthew 24, he says, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. The next horse in Revelation, the Bible says, its rider had a pair of scale on his hand. And then Christ in Matthew chapter 24, he says, there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. So when you read Matthew 24 and when you read Revelation 6, you begin to realize that these are parallel events. So the white horse is the false Christs, many false Christs that will arise leading many astray. For us to say that the seals are open, we have to be able to point them out. Since this is the false Christ who is propagating a false peace to the world. Brother Ron, the seals have not yet been opened, my brother. If we cannot point out the many false Christs that Yeshua was talking about, that are propagating false peace, my brother. We cannot say that the seals are open. And another thing about the seals, when the seals are open, we would know now that we are in the last seven years of human history, my brother, and things will, will change rapidly. You know. So it is only then, my brother, that we will be able to say that the first seal is open.